What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Lotto throws male rappers under the bus. I'm getting ready to play a sound clip of Lotto when she was on a breakfast club. Listen to this. When you was on, you was on Big Boy, and you uh, talked about working on the album and having a problem clearing. Yeah. And then everybody looked at your track list and yes. tried to see what artist that was. It's yeah. like a hip hop who done it at this point. And then Kodak yeah. posted I was today. Not... He said that that mulatto girl is not talking about me, homie. I just seen that before I walked in. I my intentions was not to like make this a whole thing. I just was looking at it as like I'm a new female rapper in the game. I wish somebody could have gave me some insight about how this stuff really go. Like, you hear, like, oh, female rappers have it harder, but I really wanted to give, like, a little insight as to, like, what specifically makes it harder for a female rapper. I didn't want it to, like, distract from the music or anything, so, like, I kind of wish, in a way, I didn't say that. How did that person react? Because I'm sure at that point, it's like, well, I don't want to be on the album because not everybody's going to be looking well, at sure me. I haven't heard. I'm cursing you out. I haven't heard from them. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you did that, you should be ashamed yeah. and not want to, you know, but like, what are you supposed to do? If you, if a guy did that to you, he should really just shut up and yeah. like, or even apologize. Yeah. Or, yeah, or apologize. That would, that would mean, cause I don't, I mean, I'm not here to raise nobody. I'm just speaking on like, it's what I go through, mm-hmm. you know? And I think I'm allowed to do that to a certain extent. Social media is trying to turn it into this thing where it's like, oh, I'm trying to clout chase. Stop right like, there. Y'all heard that, right? Lotto, you are clout chasing. Let me tell you why you clout chasing, Lotto. Your album is coming out. Well, you have an album coming out and you're promoting your album. So what you need right now are tabloids speaking about you. Publicity. This could very well be a publicity stunt that Lotta was doing. Cool. That comes with the game. But look at what she's doing. She's throwing all the male performers that was on her album on the, under the bus. How is she doing that? She's saying that an individual that she worked with on a collaboration tried to get sex from her. When she did not give them sex or him sex, they refused to clear the record so she so they could put it so she could put it on the album. What does this do? Now all the male rappers who collaborated with Lotto, now they wondering, oh, was it him? Was it him? Was it him? Was it him? And instead of Lotto just saying who it was. She's, she got the whole industry speculating about who it is. Now, right now, it's looking like what everybody assuming is Kodak Black. Everybody saying, oh, it's probably Kodak because he, 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 that's the time he be on. We don't know if it was him. But let me tell you why this is wrong. And, 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 and this is why females don't care about throwing all men under the bus. Because they don't know what it feels like. But I'm all you females listening, I'm about to give you a similar scenario. So you can see what the other male rappers that's on Lotto, that went on Lotto's album feels like right now. Check it out. That's like me working with a group of female artists, right? And I say to, and I make a public post. I say, you know what? I, I enjoy making this album with all these females, but I got to admit. When I was in the studio making this album with one of these female performers, she had the whole studio stanking with her stank ass pussy. All her pussy lit up the whole studio. Now what's going to happen? Everybody, every female who was on that album with me now is a suspect. Oh, well, was it her? Was it her? Was it her? Was it her? And instead of me just saying exactly who it is, now I got all them looking like stank pussy bitches. And that's what you doing, Lotto. Instead of you saying exactly who it is, you got all these dudes on your album looking like they be violating women. But you don't care 
long as you get the publicity that you want. Long as you get the album sales that you want. Long as you got everybody looking at you like a victim. And it's not fair. So what you need to do, Lotto, stop playing victim. Because 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 now, now you're going on a little tour where you saying, oh, what females go through, whatever. You bitches finesse dudes all the time in the industry. Females finesse men, men finesse females. So don't be acting like you, Lotto, don't. Don't act like you never finessed nobody in the industry before. Don't act like it wasn't a, a, a situation where an up-and-coming mixtape rapper try to get a collab from you. You made him do this. You made him go through all types of hoops. And you say, you know what? Nah, not right now. Finesse them. But when it's your turn, when a monkey got the gun, it ain't fun no more. And when it's your time to get finessed, now you want to play victim. I don't want to hear that. Just continue making good music and stop acting like a victim. And say who it was that did that with that with, with, with the um with the uh with the record so you could eliminate everybody else who's on your uh album. And guess what? And now not only you, you know, not only does this solve the problem, now we can hear this individual side of the story. Because anytime a female tells her side of the story, she always make it seem like she was the victim. But say who that dude is, so now we can hear his side of the story, and let's see what really went down. Let's see what she left out. And that was today's episode. Like, uh, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next go-round, my nigga. Hello.